Steve Mignani here with a Junkyard Gold Nugget here at Burnison Auto Wrecking in Burnison, Mass. With a 55 Chevy Bel Air two-door. 55 was the first year for this, what we see here. Uh, not the drum brakes, but rather this. This is a ball joint seen on Chevys and GM products for the first time in 55. 54, this would have had sort of a, uh, a ball and trunnion kind of a deal. Uh, and the beauty of the ball joint is that this suspension has really good anti-dive characteristics, meaning when you hit the brakes, the suspension wants to fight the transfer of weight forward, which is something the original kingpin suspension of 54 and earlier did not have. But here's the rub. Ford came out with ball joint suspension in 1954. So for 55, GM called it spherical joint. They didn't want to use Ford's marketing term, ball joint. But eventually the ball joint term became generic and we all use it now. But here it is for the first time on a Chevy, 1955, the first ball joint or spherical joint in production for Chevrolet.